So recently I've been on a pretty crazy book buying spree and I've been reading a lot of books this year because I'm just stuck at home 7 days a week and this year I think I spent over $3,000 on books and courses Some of them I finished but some of them I haven't really finished Now some books I bought they are really good but then some other books that I bought so so not so good And I just want to share with you the 3 technical analysis book that I find is pretty useful so I spent about 90 plus Singapore dollars on this one It's a hardcover, that's why it is a lot more costly And this first book is called Technical Analysis of the Financial Markets by John Murphy You have everything in one book, that's the good thing So you have candlesticks, you have chart patterns, you have volume, you have moving averages, you have the indicators, introduction to technical analysis, all in one book and I would say that this book is pretty easy to read the fonts are also quite big and it's very straight to the point it doesn't have like long paragraphs and then at the end of the sentence then it gets to the point the charts are pretty clear I don't know if you can see because there are some books I don't want to mention the name too much where the charts are like with a black background and then with grids and then it's like very hard to read the charts but the downside is that if you're freaking lazy, thick books probably is not for you. If you're lazy, there is a solution. The second book, this is called Introduction to Technical Analysis. So it's less thick and it's not hardcover. Is it called paperback? Very easy to understand and a lot of the times the pointers that are presented in this book, it is in bullet points and it's like number one, this point, number two, and the good thing about this book is that it gives you a section whereby it will list out okay this is the major concept major technical principle that's what i like about this book and the explanations in diagrams they are very clear very straightforward and of course if you want something more detailed there's a thicker version of this book i think it's about this thick in fact i think it's thicker than this by the way the cover of this book looks something like this I forgot to mention just now so sorry about that it looks something like this and basically this book the summary did I tore this? this book is a summary of everything as well and then it also teaches you things like candlestick patterns and also chart patterns basically everything you need to know all the indicators that you need to learn as well as volume, gap it's basically a summary of everything you need to know just that it is less thick now if you're a pro in technical analysis these two books would be quite basic for you these two a lot of you watching this you are pros in technical analysis like you are just a freaking pro you know what I'm saying? if you want more detailed lessons then you can read this book title is handbook of technical analysis by mark andrew lim and it's suitable if you are taking the major trading exams or finance exams like if you are taking cfta which is what a lot of pro technical traders take this is an exam if you are looking to take a diploma or any trading certification this is the book for you just that the problem is you're right it's bigger than my face basically it is covering everything you need to know from the indicators, chart patterns, candlestick, technical analysis, theories just in a more detailed manner as compared to the ones that you see just now and the good thing about this book is that if you use this to study it is easier on the table I don't know if that makes sense or not you know this is what I do okay this is just what I do I want to put it on the table and then I would highlight things I would write things so I would want the book to stay open just like this I don't want to hold it because for a hardcover book that's the good thing about hardcover strong and did you see the mark here? oh my god time to pull it back now the thing about all these so-called summary books is that a lot of the topics are just touch and go it can only give you so many examples for one candlestick pattern for one chart pattern if you're looking for detailed detailed chart patterns book detailed candlestick trading books then you need to buy more specialized book for example it's called chart patterns after the buy and it's just all about chart patterns nothing about technical analysis theory nothing about 
Candlestick trading is just focused on chart pattern and it gives you a lot of examples. And of course, with chart patterns, there are also candlestick patterns book. Now, this one I would say is more for beginners. If you are looking for something that is more advanced, then this book is not for you. And a good thing about these two books is that because it's paperback, it is easy to open from the table and just study. So I have a lot more books I want to recommend you, but I'm just gonna put things simple for this video. And these two months I've spent just now I calculated $660 on books alone. It's getting out of control and I want to find a way to control myself because I just go on this freaking buying spree and I don't stop. And then yesterday I watched a video about minimalist, how to become a minimalist, stop buying and buying and buying. I hope it helps. It is supposed to be self-development and not shelf development, you know what I'm saying? So I'll put the details of all these books down in the description below if you want to check it out. If you are retrenched, you have no money to buy books, you have no money to attend courses, it's okay because this is what I'm doing this year. I'm doing a lot of free courses for you so that you can learn if you don't have any income or money to buy courses and also don't have any money to buy even ebooks. I understand how hard it is. So with that, I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.